by all his associates and whose body is studded with goose pimples of ecstasy that mock the beauty of blossoming kadamba fall flowers. You see, now you see kadamba is a black color or golden color? Golden. And golden color of Chaitanya is also. And golden color of Radhika is there. Why this mention here golden color? Because this connect you Chaitanya with Radhika. <clears throat> if you connect with Krishna, you will never understand Radhika Chaitanya. This trip, you think that Chaitanya is Radhika, and you see how much beautiful realization. Radha Bhav. See Radha Bhav in Chaitanya. Why to see Radha? Because inner feeling, what is inner feeling? Antaranga Shakti? No. Chaitanya, inner feeling, what is that? Radha. 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 And outside? Radha. Outside also. Radha. <laughs> Inside Radha, outside Radha. <coughs> and in between? Krishna. So in your heart, Krishna is not living? Well, in my heart. In your heart is Krishna. In Every heart. living being heart is a Krishna. <laughs> or Krishna only is not there. Krishna is every living being with the heart of or Krishna is living. So why not he live with Radhika? It's a natural. How he can live alone Radhika? He is never separated with Radhika. So out and in is Radhika. So which mood is higher here? Radha mood is higher. Radha mood is very prominent in Chaitanya. Chaitanya. That I want. If we learn this, we can have more access. More in access to see the things. He raises his arms repeatedly and loudly crying, Hari, Hari. Now, again, question. If he is a Krishna, whose name is Hari? Krishna's Krishna name. name. And Krishna will cry his name. <laughs> He will cry Radha's name. <laughs> Are Mohani will cry her name. Or Chakshu name. <laughs> and you will cry your name or Mohini name. Yes. <clears throat> so if you know understand why he is putting hand up and crying Hari Hari, then what is the meaning of this? Miss Radhika is crying for Hari Hari. And this is practical, genuine. Beloved always cry for his lover. Sripad Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati is the object of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's great mercy. So his mind and heart... Mercy come like this mm. by our understanding. What is mercy? Mercy when we accept something in our life. That time is a mercy time. We deny and we accept. The moment you accept, this is mercy. 100%. And we deny, is no mercy received. Mm. Ah. So his mind and heart are always absorbed in the sweet pastimes. What is to balance? Mind and heart has to be in one agreement. Yes, mind and heart. Mind and heart is not in agreement. Big problem. 
mind is want to do something and a heart want to do something then we cannot develop our spiritual life we have to agree our mind with the heart that agreement will come everything will be fine otherwise it's an inner conflict inner conflict mind and high heart will create conflict inside mind will deny heart will accept mind will deny heart will accept inner conflict and envy and all in false ego this will come mm, yes many time about explaining about mind and heart Yes. Man is trying. Yes. You see any place. Always important that the mind and heart has to be in one. Yeah. Bhagavad Gita. I cannot, I cannot I cannot distinguish between my mind and my heart. I don't know. If... Mind is here. Yes, but this is the highest in the guys. <laughs> Ice is the guys. <laughs> yeah. guys. This is mind. Side guys. Between heart and mind. Heart is the Jesus soul. This is my heart, living soul, and the heart is my feeling. Feeling comes from the heart, not from the mind. And mind is like a computer who who give doubts in ourselves. This is the work of the mind, and heart is give the feeling. And my heart block, then we are become no feelings. Blocked. And when my heart open. in love then feeling comes mind cannot feel anything mind can calculate heart can feel i show you one thing bhagavad gita 12th chapter 1340 read this chapter can read i cannot read ah you oh, lost mom he stole my eye glass just now the doctor okay then you No what is the read that is yes. what it is oh and I got it 12 chapter yeah. 13 14 12 chapter 13 14 English yes it's not that much so you have to make glasses you yeah, make yes it's very but cheap. not keep a glass monkey will steal all this I didn't even realize that they have the glasses. That's all. Why is the monkey jumping on my head? No, they can steal. They do this. <clears throat> Nobody said to you here. Yeah. In this temple, no, no. But outside, if you go, you have to keep it. heads, go. glasses. Uh-huh. One who is not envious, but who is a kind friend to all living entities, who. <laughs> who does not think himself a proprietor yeah who is free from false ego and equal both in happiness and distress ha 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 to gopinath ko ye sridhar ko kehna hoga amra to tabe theek nahi dana mera shakti se kya hai so <clears throat> who is free from false ego and equal both in happiness and distress who is always satisfied and engaged in devotional service with determination and whose mind and intelligence you see mind in agreement in agreement you see mind and intelligence you can do intelligence what is the intelligence here that we know myself that we are living so that i know my heart yes that is intelligence prabhupad mentioned you should be in agreement should be in agreement mm. May, maybe because that is not agreement conflict creates conflict is a very good book radha rasudani the end of it may we say that the mind accepts or rejects 
and the intelligence discerns intelligence means to come to yourself to come know yourself that you are <coughs> heart soul this is your intelligence feeling come from the feeling and your mind has to be in action prabhupada right for the basic intelligent means but this is here mention what is mention are in well radha rasulani so his mind and heart are always yeah. absorbed in yeah. his sweet pastimes sweet past attributes and sentiments of shrimati radhirani in raj never want to leave to mind to go again back other places bring mind to with the heart with the feeling and this is the mercy this of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu given to spravadananda saraswati thakur that his mind and heart are always absorbed in sweet pastimes attributes and sentiments of shrimati radharani in braj vrindavan is not a krishna place krishna is the supreme personality of god and out of vrindavan yeah in vrindavan he is he is the forehand krishna outside <laughs> Here, when he enter, he become two hands. Normal. The 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 border is Akura Ghat, no? Akura Ghat. I don't want to listen about that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you want to say what? No, Akura is outside of the forehand Krishna. Who likes the forehand Krishna? They talk about that. They go on. This is not our our Vasa. Our Rasa is a Radha's Krishna. Akura Ghat, Akura come to bring four hand Krishna. To Batura. I say you this is to me. Mm. You forget? No, I said the border. The border is this. Border. I don't need to border to think more. We have to think inside of it. And Akura bring not two hand Krishna. He bring four hand Krishna. Mm-hmm. Mathuresh. Mathuresh. Dwarkes. Because this Krishna is hiding in Jamna, and when Akura has to go, this Krishna went. Rajendra Nanda never went out of it. If Krishna can teach everything, then Uddhav is the closest friend of Krishna, and living, eating, dressing the clothes of Krishna. Why not he understand Krishna? Why he sent him to Vrindavan to the Why? gopis? What to teach him or to learn from Vrindavan? This Krishna sent to to Uddhava two hand Krishna, Brajanandan. See the Brajanandan there; still is there. You are friend of me, Narayan Krishna. We don't di- different said this. It's a totally different subject. Oh. Now he begins his delicious book of eager prayer named Radha Rasa Sura Nidhi out of compassion for the devotees who aspire for the confidential service of Shrimati Radharani's lotus feet. In this verse he praises his worship This is the first book to read. Who is my sister there? Who is my goal of life? Where to Radha. fix? Why Radha is the goal? Why? Because she is a lover, Gurudev. Listen to this. What do we want to become? We want to learn. She, Braja Bihari, Shri Krishna, accepted the mood and complexion of Shri Radha. You see. And became Gaura to fulfill three desires. What three desires? to understand the greatness of shri radha's love you see this is the goal this is not goal to naam prachar this is not a goal love of radhika and when you are in love naturally name will come and the face will come if love is there and if you're not coming then there is no love is a naturally is a nature of the love of beloved to remember the lovers form and the name is a nature 
How it's not possible? Why pressure for that? Why to chant 16, 16 round every day? If I have love, I will do more and I will not do. What I will desire, I will do. No pressure. No condition. Unconditional. Maybe I am in service, I have no time. And I have a time, why I will not think for you? What I can think, I don't want to think, but his mind is going. What I can do is a natural. It's the nature of uh, every human being. You know, so repeat this part. To understand, Raj Bihari, Shri Krishna, accept that the mood and complexion of Sri Radha. Mood. First is the mood. Which mood? She is. When Krishna accepts Radha mood, and we will not accept that mood, how possible life will change? We are follower of Chaitanya. And Krishna here come to follow the mood of Radha. Jai Radhe. What I am doing for huh? And the complexion. To meditate in this complexion. Because the covering is this complexion. Gaura, Gaura, Gaura. <laughs> we have to develop the mood of Radhika. Feeling of Radhika in our life. Krishna wants this in the core of God. <coughs> to understand the greatness of Radha's love, the wonderful qualities that she alone relishes in him, and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. Hmm? Aloud. So. Give the mic. To understand the greatness of Radha's love, he came. He became Gora. And to understand or feel the wonderful qualities that she alone relishes in him, mm. how she feels. With Krishna. When she is with him, her love, her ecstasy, her bath, everything. That he wants to relish. Yeah. And the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. No clear again. <clears throat> and the happiness she realizes. Who realizes? Yes, again. To understand the greatness of Radha's love, the wonderful qualities that she alone relishes in him, and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. So, Radharani is relishing qualities in Krishna that he doesn't know about himself. And she feels this happiness when she experiences the sweetness of his love. And that's a feeling that also Krishna wants to feel. The happiness that she feels, that is also foreign to him. He doesn't know how she feels when she feels him. So Krishna wants to feel that in the form of Shaitanya. Understand? Again explain. This is the very important point. So, Sri Krishna accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha and became Gora to fulfill three desires. To understand the greatness of Radha's love, the wonderful qualities that she alone relishes in him and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. Yeah. Radha Mahima, no? the greatness of her love, and the qualities that only she in her Mahabhav, she has the highest feelings of love. So when she loves Krishna, she can feel him to such an extent that even not Krishna can understand. She can feel new. Krishna knew. <laughs> Krishna doesn't understand himself in the way that she can feel him. And that yeah. he wants to know now. It's a secret to him. <laughs> and the happiness that comes from relishing this. He also wants to relish her happiness when she loves him. And his sweetness. When she feels Krishna knew, this means Anurag. No? This exchange. Our every time new. Every time new, yeah. First time it. No, no. First time it. 
That is always like a yeah, first time. First time. It is like surprising. Fresh. Fresh. Amazing. Ever fresh. Astonishing. Never meet before. Mm. But you know each other so long. <laughs> always new. That 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 every time what is happening that Krishna for Krishna is the foreign to understand. Mm. In Vrindavan Leela, Krishna was the witness of the sweetness of Sri Radha's love, of which he was the object. And in Gaura Leela, he accepted the mood and the luster of Sri Radha to understand the gravity of her love. The deepness, the gravity, the depth. Now he becomes subject and Radhika becomes object mm. in Gaurdila. Wow. In the opening verse of his book, Radha Rasa Sudhaviti, Sri Thats Prabhudananda Saraswati draws a beautiful picture of how the full transcendental truth of Raja Sri Krishna experienced the sweetness of Radha's emotions. Here in this first verse, Sri Pat Prabhudananda Saraswati Thakur follows the custom in the Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition to praise Lord Gora before commencing the description of Sri Sri Radha Madhava's sweet pastimes. This is called Gora Chandrika. Gora, any Chaitanya Chaitamrit you read any place, you will never go. If you take the shelter of Gora, you cannot go out of Vrindavan. Any place, any pastime, it reminds you of Vrindavan. Mm, that okay. is Gora Lila. Always connected, Guru, because it's Radhika. How can it not be Vrindavan? He is any place, but he is connected in Vrindavan, Chaitanya. Wow. In his book, Sri Chaitanya Chattamrita, he writes, When a very fortunate soul experiences devotion for Lord Dora's lotus feet, the nectar ocean from Radha's lotus feet suddenly flows, floods, floods his heart. Wow, good. My job, my. Hmm. Radha, again read. This is really Come, hey, Sadhuma, sit down. <coughs> when a very fortunate soul experiences devotion for Lord Gora's lotus feet, the nectar ocean from Radha's lotus feet suddenly floods his heart. Jai. Jai. This is Gora. Mercy. One day will come that you will realize the Radha. By the mercy of Gora. Gora. Must be. Uh, again? You want to listen again, Sadhu? The speaker <laughs> brings a little near. His very sound is not clear. It should go inside the heart. It's not very open, no door. Door is open, no problem. Why I want to listen to these words? Go in heart. Yes, to go deep. Loud. When a very fortunate oh, soul... Oh, too much. <laughs> too much fortune. Yeah. No, 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 no. You make it to that outside also go, but... Like this? Ah. When a very fortunate soul Good. experiences... A very fortunate soul when... When the soul experiences devotion for Lord Gora's lotus feet, the nectar ocean from Radha's lotus feet suddenly floods his heart. Yeah. This is your Gauranga. Now you have a Gaura. 
the automatic flood will come of Radha Prem. Sri Gaura Sundara has brought an unprecedented torch. Loud. Sri Gaura Sundara has brought an unprecedented torch of Raja Rasa. Torch. Oh. The torch. torch. She has brought the, tr- the torch light, Raja Rasa, whose bright effulgence shows the devotees the way to the sweet bhajan of Sri Vrindavan, which is otherwise hard to see. Yeah. Sri Gaura Sundara has brought an unprecedented torch of Raja Rasa whose bright effulgence shows the devotees the way to the sweet bhajan of Sri Vrindavan, which is otherwise hard to see. And along with that sweet transcendental Raja Rasa, Mahaprabhu introduced himself to the devotees of this world. If Gora had not come, how would the world have been? Who would have taught the world the greatness of Radha and the limit of Prema Rasa? Yadi Gora Nahoto Pine Nehoito Kemo Nedaritam De Radhara Mahima Prema Rasa Sima Jagati Jana Tukhe Without Gora, the world would have known the greatness of Radha and not about Prema Ras. Who would have shown the way to enter into the sweetness of Vrindavan and the anxious mood of the young girls of Raja? The only way to extinguish the burning sensation of the threefold material mass misery caused by the elements one's own body or mind, or by other creatures, with a nectar stream of love for Sri Sri Radha Govinda, is the mercy of Sri Man Mahaprabhu. Jai Ho. One thing, read that sloka. Which one to read? That Yari Gaura Nahoyita? No, no, no. First is sloka. Is finished or not? Mm. Well, it's not finished it. Well, no, no, no. Who would have shown the way to enter into the sweetness of Vrindavan and the anxious mood of the young girls of Raja? The only way to extinguish the burning sensation of the threefold material misery caused by the elements one's own body or mind or by other creatures. But with the nectar stream of love for Sri Sri Radha Govinda is the mercy of Sri Man Mahaprabhu. So only by the mercy of Sri Man Mahaprabhu, the misery of the threefold material duality can be overcome. In this word, verse, Sri Pat Prabhupada describes the sattvika ecstasy of Sri Gaura Sunda as he takes pleasure in performing Kirtan. Sri Rupa Goswami defines these ecstasies as follows in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. When the, when the heart is touched by emotions directly, in the form of the five basic relationships or indirectly in the form of the seven secondary moods related to Krishna, the wise call it sattva and the emotions coming from that called sattvika paths. The Lord had accepted the mood and the luster of Shri. five. Yes. Samanda relation. Mm-hmm. Any one relation come, 
ध्यान भी आए सातो सातो गुना वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन द हार्ट इज टच बाई इमोशन इमोशन डायरेक्टली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द फाइव बेसिक रिलेशनशिप ऑफ सर्वेंटहुड फ्रेंडशिप पेरेंटहुड एंड सो ऑन और इन डिरेक्टली in the form of seven secondary words such as laughter chiral chivalry and so on related to krishna the wise call it sattva and the most the emotions coming from that are called sattvic kapas wow the lord had accepted the mood yeah your spiritual life is that Before was really just practice. Yes, you see. Yes, again. So I stop you to be here. Yeah, can we read it? Confirm, Guru. This is the thing where the, your Prabhupada start Bhagavad Gita. Hmm. Relation. Right. Right. And this page also start with it. First introduction verse. And seven sat- satvika, uh, the indirectly uh, modes like laughter, different uh, secondary modes. What secondary mode? Say laughter, chivalry, and so on. He only said to hasya. Manipulation. Mm. All the different modes that are written in uh, bhakti or something like that. So when the heart is touched by emotions. directly or indirectly the wise call it sattva and the emotions coming from that are called sattvika bhavs so that is the emotions called if not coming by intelligence or by verses no 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 verses no intelligence yeah no philosophy no only with sambandha with a relation That is the real emotion, and this is the real connection. But verses can inspire one to feel this. Verses to connect yourself, what bhav is coming to you. Verses will not help you to bring in the relations. They will block you to enter in relation. I think, good if when you first have some bandha, and then the verses can. Reflect and you can love. you can you can connect what is for me and what is not for me. You have to check which verses is useful for you and how you understand that verse. When the emotions are not there, good day. The verse will be theory. Difficult to understand. Go on. The Lord had accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha, and had become the main shelter for his own Rati. Wow, Rati. <laughs> Rati, so Rati. Uh, again. <clears throat> the Lord had accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha, and had become the main shelter. For his own rati, therefore the satvika and other bhavs had become fully manifest manifest in him. This is confirmed in Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Understand this line? It's very complex, Guru. Read again. The Lord had accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha. And had Why can accept mood without accepting her mood? We cannot understand her. He cannot. He cannot come close to this. How she feels about him? Yeah. If I no come close to you, I cannot understand you. So he, Krishna, come take the mood of Radhika to understand how she is feeling with this mood. Yeah. Right. Mm. Read word by word. Mm. The 
the Lord had accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha and had become the main shelter for his own Rati. Shelter? He took the shelter. Krishna is the goal before. Now he took shelter in this, to live in this, in your, the feeling of Radha. This is her shelter. Therefore, the sattvika and other paths had become fully manifest in him. So it's come to him. Took full center of mm. Radha. Means he become ashray. Krishna become Vishay. Radhika become Vishay. Krishna, Krishna took Krishna shelter of ashray. Radhika. So she to is the, that. Yeah, she is the Vishaya. She is the object of the one who loves her. If we want to understand her, we have to take shelter of her. When Krishna can do, why not we do? <laughs> <laughs> we are devotee of Krishna. No? What type of devotion? We have? <laughs> he used his independence well. <laughs> now he's independent. Now he is in the pleasure giving potency, Gurudev. <laughs> No she is not independent, not marginal. He takes <laughs> <out there. laughs> Of the pleasure giving <coughs> The Lord had become the main shelter of his own rasa, and so all ecstasies arose in him. Tahe mukha, rasa raj, rasa shraya, hoya chain mahashaya. Read in English. Shripad sweetly depicts how Sri Gauranga's body displayed the unrivaled ecstasy derived from relishing the sweetness of Radha's rasa with himself by saying, Nin dantam pulakot karena vikasam nipa parasunak chabi. English, English. His body was beautified by goose pimples <laughs> that mocked freshly blossoming kadamba flowers. Mahaprabhu's body manifested sattvika baths. And Srila Rupa Goswami says in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, when five or six sattvika ecstasies simultaneously arise to the greatest extent, they are called udipta. Again, Sri Pat says, he lifts his arms and loudly chants, Hari, Hari! Activities that awaken certain moods in the heart are called anubhav. When rati is relished within the heart, it will be externally manifest. Ah, rati. Mm. Sri Guru Charana rati. Rati means lusty desire. Deep attachment, good. Deep attachment. Spiritual lust. Sri Guru Charana rati. Yeah, that's what. Go on. The echo of Mahaprabhu's loud chanting of Hari Nam immersed all the moving and non-moving creatures in the taste of love of Krishna. Srila Haridas Thakur revealed this secret in the loud chanting of Hari Nam. All the moving and non-moving creatures have heard your loud chanting. Hearing it, all the moving creatures will liberate it from material existence. And after the non-moving creatures hear it, there's an echo. It's actually not an echo. It is the chanting of these non-moving creatures. All these indescribable things are possible. By your mercy, Mahaprabhu dances with restless feet and sprinkles the earth with his tears. How sweet is Gaura Kishore, the youthful golden Lord Chaitanya! How sweet is his dancing! How sweet are his associates! How sweetly the drums are playing! How sweet is their rhythm! How sweetly the devotees are maddened by transcendental mellows! 
And how sweetly they sing. How sweetly he moves. How sweetly he swings. And how sweet are his steps. Now, how sweet are his beautiful words. And how sweet is his, is his radiance. How sweet are his lips. And how sweet are his smiles. That defeat the sweetness of the moon. How sweet is his eagerness. How sweet is his love. And how sweet are his words. How sweetly his reddish eyes are making sweet hints. Unfortunately, Roy Shekara is deprived of this sweet love. While Mahaprabhu dances, his eyes manifest the sattvika ecstasy of Ashru. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is described how Mahaprabhu manifested this ecstasy while dancing before the chariot of Lord Jagannath. Tears were flowing from his eyes like fountains sprinkling all the people that stood around. This transformation is so wonderful that one may ask, does the Ganga water that normally flows from his Lord Vishnu's or self, same Sriman Mahaprabhu's lotus feet, now flow from his eyes? The Lord not only taught the world about praying, he also gave a splendid example of how to relish its flavors. The Lord is the wealthy owner of the Chintamani gem of praying. The people of this world will be blessed with initiation into the mantra of praying by voluntarily selling themselves to the lotus feet of that sweetly, blissfully dancing and chanting Shikora. Even the stones melt when they remember how sweetly Lord Gora dances and how he rolls on the ground like a golden mountain. All glories to Shikora Chandra who gives joy to the world, who is the moon of Gora Mandala and whose body is studded with goose pimples of ecstasy that are as wonderful as blooming Kadamba flowers. Yeah, who are the Finish? Yes, go, go two, 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 three more sentences for tomorrow. No, or now. No, How nicely Gaura Mahaprabhu dances, repeatedly lifting his arms and loudly chanting Hari Hari. A stream of tears flows from Gaura's eyes and sprinkles the surface of the earth. Thus, Sripad Prabhudananda Saraswati begins his Rasika book named Radha Rasa Sudaniti by offering his repeated obeisances to Lord Gaurahari and his associates and witnessing his kirtan pastimes. This verse serves as the auspicious invocation of this book. It is the highest wealth of all the devotees and it makes them happy by remembering and hearing it, decorating his body with the dust of Sri Guru's lotus feet, Hari Pad sings these poetical songs. Yeah. Jai Shri Radhe. Radhe, Radhe, Radhe.